Hello and welcome. We are going to online study for you. This is Tanmay Pandey, and we are going to discuss the questions of today's NQT, the coding questions basically. So let's get started. So the question says is Jack is always excited about Sundays as we all are, and it is his favorite day, and he goes to play uh, with his friends and goes cycling with his friends the whole day. So every time when the uh, month starts, he counts the number of Sundays he will get to enjoy. So what is the, uh, what he does is when the month starts then he counts the number of sundays in that month okay so consider the month can start with any day be it sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday anything so count the number of sundays jack will get within n number of days okay so what we uh, what we have to count is like uh, first let's see the inputs okay so the input we will be getting is like the first day of the month right we will be getting monday or tuesday or wednesday these types of input the first input and the second input that we will be getting is this the number a particular date we will be getting considering this particular input we can analyze that uh, the month is starting from monday and our date has been given to us like 13 so what we have to do is our task is like we have to uh, count the number of sundays uh, from the date 1 to date 13th from the date 1 to date 13 like how many sundays will be there so we were given with the first day of the month and we are given a end date okay so if we count so uh, there will be two sundays in between which will lie there so that is the output we have, which we have to give we have to count the number of sundays and we have to give the output okay so let's get started and uh, let's go to a console and uh, start coding okay so we are going to do it in python so let's get started d is equal to input here we will be getting the first input like monday tuesday wednesday thursday the first day of the month okay now n is equal to integer input what this will uh, be taking is that uh, second input which we were uh, trying to get right next thing is days is equal to okay so we are defining a list okay so that will be containing the names of the days let me just say then thursday then friday and saturday and at last sunday which is the favorite day of jack right okay so uh, we will be defining a index variable which will be taking the index index of d so what does this line mean like here it will be inputted like to consider monday m o n m o n will get input okay so now if we come here uh, here in this index what we are taking is days dot days dot index at d so what is there in d it is day uh, the first day of the month that is m o n or t u e or w e d so it will be compared here days dot index so it will take the index of m o n okay so it will get uh, zero here right in the next line i is equal to index plus 1 Oh uh, okay. Wait a second. Okay. So count is equal to zero. Then we are executing a loop. Okay. So it is while if i double equals to length of days. then i is equal to 0 if 
days at i double equals to sum then count is equal to count plus 1 okay so i is equal to i plus 1 and oh what is this coming i don't know about it it came again no problem n is equal to n minus 1 so you all must be wondering what i am doing right now so let me explain okay okay so what we are doing is uh, in the line number 8 you can see in this we are like uh, if i double equals to length of days see if the index we are getting is like uh, we are getting the index at s6 right so we are doing here i is equal to index plus 1 that is we will get will be getting 7 here right so we are comparing if uh, this i is equal to the length of the days then obviously the uh, this list has been over so we are setting i to 0 again okay here yeah. next thing what we are doing is we are comparing we are comparing that uh, if days at i are is double equals to sunday if it is sunday then we are just simply uh, updating the count by one and then again i is equal to i plus 1 we are increasing the i one by one like i is here at monday then we will be increasing it to tuesday then to wednesday just like that we will be coming to sunday and by the time the i comes to like 7 uh, at that time this condition will get fulfilled and i will become zero right okay we'll be printing count okay okay so we will have to enter like if we enter one and if we enter 13 and see we are getting the output as two right so first question is over now let's switch over to question number two okay so question number two is saying that given a number n the task is to split the number into multiple parts in such a fashion as to find the highest product. So we have to find the highest product here. Find the highest product value. Okay, so let's consider 4. So how can we split 4? Like 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, something like that. And we can split it like 2 plus 2 or we can split it like 2 plus 1 plus 1, right? Or 3 plus 1, like these things. So we have to take that particular that particular sum in which if we multiply the digits here like 2 into 2 then we will get the highest highest output okay highest product so if we consider 6 so if we consider 6 how can we make like uh, we can make 6 like 1 plus 2 plus 3 or 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 like 6 times and we can also make 6 like 3 plus 3 so, uh, in order to get the highest product, what we will have to do is, we have to do 3 into 3, right? So, highest product will be 9, okay? So, you would have understood about it. Likewise, it is given for 8 and for 15 also, okay? So, this is the task that we have to accomplish, okay? So, let's start diving into coding okay so yeah okay so first of all we can define a power function we will see it significant in the further answer okay so i am just designing a power function which will just take two inputs and return a, return the power to us now res is equal to 1 and uh, then while while a if a and 
one then rest is equal to rest into x x is equal to x into sorry into x okay then a is equal to one returning yes break integer n okay so we are defining this function if n double equals to 2 then what we have to do is return 1 okay now if n double equals to 3 then what we will have to do is return 2 yeah i have forgotten indentation here i would have got a big error after that so yeah next product we are defining it as zero for now okay so like uh, if you see here if n double equals to two then uh, we don't have any option out of that right we have to make one plus one only so we will be getting one only and if we are getting like uh, n double equals to three then we will be uh, if we split it then the maximum product that we will be getting is two so we are just simply returning it okay if n mod three double equals to zero so if the number divides by three then max product max product will be power of three comma integer n by three okay return max product okay so elif we are doing so uh, if it gets divided by 3 fully then what we will do is we will uh, do like max product is equal to power of 3 comma so in that case if it gets divided by 3 then uh, we will take uh, like uh, all the threes and we will uh, give the power of that threes so 3 comma integer of n by 3 the number of times it will get divided okay so if it don't get divided by 3 and it gets divided by 4 okay so if we are getting like one remainder one is remainder that means is that uh, there is one 4 also there if we divide let me show you here i will show you like we are getting 27 28 okay so if we are dividing it by 3 then it will go in 9 times okay 27 and then one will be left and this one which is left here this is the remainder that means 4 will be a number which will be dividing this number also okay so in that case what we will be doing is max product is equal to 2 into 2 into power 3 comma integer n by 3 and minus 1 right okay now l if 
n mod 3 double equals to 2 okay so in that case max product what it will become 2 into power of 3 comma integer by 3 okay and return max product here also we have to place return okay okay so max product is equal to break integer and like uh, we are taking four so in that case print max product okay so let's execute it and see what happens it is given as four okay so if we do like uh, eight here then what we will get is 18 okay so that was only given n uh, when n is 4 then we will be getting 4 and when n is 8 then we will be getting 18 right okay so these were the questions for today and uh, hope you found it useful if you like the video then do press the like button as well as hit the subscribe button and uh, coming down below what all things we can improve and what all things we should cover more right okay thank you so much